In this video, we are going to install the Python 3.6 environment on the Ubuntu 16.04 Long-Term Support Edition. Go ahead and open up your terminal. If you're on the Lightweight Edition, that'll be down here in the bottom left, and you'll have to find it somewhere in Preferences or Applications or Accessories, somewhere there. What you'll want to do next is you want to type in Python version or dash dash version and you should get an output saying 2.7. Do this similar concept, but this time type Python 3 dash dash version and you'll get an output of like 3.5. So follow along with me. Okay. There we go. Now we want 3.6. To get 3.6, we're going to be using what is known as the Python Publishing Accessories Library, or the PPA, and the package we're going to be using is a package by Jonathan F. So go ahead and clear out your listings if you want. Uh, it's not required. And then type sudo add apt repository PPA Jonathan F python-3.6 Go ahead and supply your password, which is your standard password for the computer you're on. Press enter to confirm. Next, go ahead and clear out your console. Again, not required and then type sudo apt git update now you can clear your console out just like me or ignore that and then type sudo apt git install python 3 Now it'll ask you, are you sure you want to install this? Type Y and press enter. Okay, let's go ahead, let's clear this out. And then let's check to make sure that Python 3.6 was installed. So go ahead and type the following command, which is ls space usr bin, and then we are gonna do pipe grep python. Now if you look in here, we can see that Python 3.6 is installed. If you're looking at me going, what the heck is pipe? Pipe is that key between your delete and your enter key. Uh, it's usually part of the backslash key, and so you do shift that. Um, you can look further into what a piping does for Linux environment and what grep is, but I'm not going to cover that. Now let's make the assumption that if we type in Python 3 dash dash version we should get an output of Python 3.6 at least we think we should and instead we get Python 3.2 now to fix this little issue we're going to create something called an alias now I wanna be clear about something if you know what a symbolic link is do not and I swear it do not create a symbolic link 
so that you can type the word Python and return Python 3.6. If you do this, you have a high chance of destroying and breaking your operating system because a lot of the back-end programs on the Ubuntu environment, Ubuntu environment run using the Python 2.7 package. So let's go ahead and let's create an alias. First, what I want you to do is I want you to check to see if the file .bash underscore aliases has been created. So we can do that using the ls command. So it looks like it does not exist in the root of our directory. So we can go ahead and we can create that file. So what we're going to do is the same command, but instead of ls, we're going to use the word touch, which will create an empty file. Now. If we do the ls command, we get an output saying that the bash underscore alias is, is correct. Now, let's go ahead and let's edit the file. To edit the file, we're going to type vi and then the same thing as well. So instead of ls, we'll do vi, which opens up the vim editor. Now, to edit the file, if you're not familiar with the vim editor, you press the letter i on your keyboard. This brings you into the editing mode. And then I want you to go ahead and type in the pound sign or hashtag, whatever you want to call it, space, and then the sentence create alias Python 3 for Python 3.6, then press on your keyboard shift and return or shift and enter depending on what your keyboard says. To do a backspace, simply press backspace and then change whatever is being selected at the moment with the cursor. Next, type alias space python3 equals, in single quotes, python3.6. Now it is very important that you do not put a space between python3, the equal sign, and the single quote that starts it. Otherwise, you will likely run into errors. Now, to make sure we can save the changes, press the escape key on your key. This will exit you out of edit mode. And then on your keyboard, type the colon, not semicolon, but colon. And we can see that down here in the bottom left. And then press the letter W, which means to write, and the letter Q, which means to quit, and press enter. Now, if we type Python, three dash dash version oh wait it didn't work don't worry close out your terminal open the terminal back on up and run the command again and there you go it's been refreshed it's been updated and now if we actually run the shell environment so if we honestly just typed python 3 it would bring us into the Python 3.6 shell environment. And there you go. You've installed Python 3.6 on your Linux Ubuntu 16.04 long-term support edition. Thanks for watching.